Almost 200, We're short yeah. by like 30. And I think we missed it on collision by like two. Or no, like uh, we missed the PGR B. We hit by... Like 10 or something. We missed PGR B by oh. 10. So I, I don't want to miss PGR C, dogs. Yeah. So come on out, sign up. We'll see you there. It's also going to be streamed on Twitch.tv slash House of 2000, this channel right here. So you'll catch all the action. All you got to do is just check back in on Saturday. It's going to be a one-day event. I'll yep. be on the mic. You'll catch me there. And let's get it. So we got Dill ro ripping the Rob. He used to be a Rob main back in the Brawl days. Dropped him in Smash 4. And then when Ultimate came out, everyone's like, dude, Rob's good. And Dill was not having it. He was not having it. You know, he, he, it was, um, he couldn't believe that Rob could be good. So he tried out Diddy Kong for like the first two months and got nowhere with him. He switched over to Rob, saw the light, and now he's back in business. I was actually talking to Dill. He mentioned that Rob has one of the best ledge trapping moves in the game. Based yeah. entirely around that gyro. That I mean, that's entirely like how like Dill models this game. And like, yeah, when he dropped uh, Diddy, it was like Diddy got the chic treatment in this game. And he's like, wow, not doing, not going through that. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what's to go for the jank sometimes, which works. Good punish for Mystery e, actually getting uh, optimal damage off of that parry. Going for the forward smash instead. Lucina's game strat isn't really that much different from her Smash Four counterpart. Besides, jab doesn't lead into like. Imagination as much. That's more like Krom Roy territory. But beyond that, you know, she still wants to try to like space out her opponent, try to keep him at the edge of her sword, and move like this uh, defensive circle around her. You know, man, sitting at 91% already. See, look at that peak spacing coming there from Mystery. E. Barely. Oh, if Dill would have just pushed forward a tad, he would have been caught. He's trying to play as safe as possible. Neutral are a very safe tool in Lucina's arsenal. And Dill just runs in, does a reverse area rush back air, gets the kill, but it's, he, already, he already lost his first stock. Throwing down the gyro, looking for an edge guard opportunity. I, is that a, I don't know, Mystery's a nut. He can go for down smash. I get why he would do it. He thought maybe Dill was gonna re-grab onto the ledge. Or grab onto it. Applying pressure with the neutral air, wanted to go for the back air afterwards in case he went for the jump. Damage start getting, starting to get a lot of mileage of that gyro. The little spin top. And Rob can probably chill down there for a good, like, five uh, five hurdles, you know? It all depends on his fuel. But Dill's starting to recognize his fuel. Uh, for Rob, he's got to, like, get back onto the ground in order to, like, regain that fuel tank. Feels like being that little green bar on his little body. It's actually useful, huh? It's kind of weird they didn't put it, like, where his percentage was. Like, other characters got that same treatment. Okay, op that was a good that was a good uh, defensive strategy from Dill. He opted to roll into the stage because the gyro was active. So if Mystery tried to follow up, he would have been caught by it. Still got the kill. Mystery sitting at one eighteen percent. Not undoable for Dill. He's the finest out. Might be going for an arm rotor soon. At this point, not even trying to approach. Mystery doesn't need to approach himself. He'd easily just chill back. There's no reason for him to get in there. So he's just trying to prevent the projectiles. He's not going to die to a projectile just yet. So he finds the, the stage pressure. Stage control is in his favor. Try to sneak in a little laser by going for a big boost at the end. Dunk him. Oh, that, that was weird. He fell out of the up air. Okay, reconnects the grab yet again. Mystery playing patient, waits out for the air dodge. He wanted to see how Dill would react to the down throw. Hasn't really put him in that situation too often. And. Failed to punish the uh, counter. I think he wanted to dash up and go for an up smash, but just had a miss input. That's going to be a kill. There we go. I just chug some H2O. Let's go. Okay, 160% on Dill. Again, throwing the gyro down, throwing it down below as well in order to try to prevent uh, Dill from trying to get back to the stage. Jumping over the gyro just as planned from Dill. A lot of the times, you know, you throw out that Hadouken to force the jump, so you go for the DP afterwards. Same situation in Smash. Okay, trying to get back on stage. Mystery trying to apply a lot of... Whoa, he let go... I think he tried to jump at a shield. I don't think that was a shield poke. I'm pretty sure he tried to jump at a shield before the Nair 2 came out. Let's watch it again, just to, just 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 in the slow mo, so we can actually catch the action live here for you guys. So right here, he holds shield. The first hit of Nair hits his shield, but the second swing, right here, this one. 
It poked. That actually hit his head. Wow. That's actually OD. I cannot believe that hit his head. I thought maybe he jumped at his shield or something. I'd be livid if I was dead. <laughs> and you saw that, like, he kind of just stood there uh, and, like, didn't die because he didn't expect to get hit. He didn't expect to get hit. And I'm sure Mystery was even trying to hit him. I think he was just trying to apply pressure and wave, move back and play safe and reset back to neutral. I was like, wait, that killed? Oh, okay. That's that's the nature of pressure. It's just like, uh, get hit by this. Yeah. Just one of them. The first swing of Nair actually deleted the shield in just enough for that second swing to poke. It, his head was barely exposed. That wouldn't work on Pichu. Just saying. Anyways. 72% already on Dill. Mystery's gonna carry that momentum into this next next game. Mystery tried to bet it all with that down air in case. Because Dill every single time has been recovering from directly below the stage. So Mystery, you know, why not? Might as well go for the uh, down down air. Way easier to spike than the previous game, so might as well try. Good bait. It looked like Mystery was gonna like try to cross him up with that neutral air, opt to the weave back a bit, and then go for a forward smash to punish the uh, shield grab. Dill getting a little hungry for the grab, and Mystery's starting to capitalize on that, going for these spot dodges yet again. There it is. He's at that prime percent where Dill can get a lot of damage off of a grab. And Mystery is fully aware of the situation. Okay, that's That was not a shield poke. He had to have done something. There's no way. That was like the middle of his shield, dog. Hey, our rotor. Back air catches out the Dolphin Slash. And we're going back to two stocks apiece, 0%. More gyro action coming your way, tossing it at her face, chucking it. Four tilt's a really good tool for, uh, for Lucina. Just to, like, uh, force the, uh, it's a safe tool from a distance as well as a great anti-air. So if you catch them jumping, it kind of, like, uh, prevents them from being able to approach from a jump. There we go. Baits out the up smash by you know, using the double jump at the right time. A lot of players will try to, like, fast fall with an aerial attack. And then the opponent will just shield and then go for, like, a punish afterwards. But instead, they go for a double jump to try to avoid that situation. Very common strat. More back airs coming out. Dill getting a little hungry with these back airs. Has turned the tables on Mr. E, though. Has him off stage at incredibly high percent. Dangerous percent, I might add. One grab away from dying. Like I said, Dill wants the grab. I'm going to go for back airs as well, because once that the back air is a lot of startup, but once it goes off, it's incredibly safe because it pushes Rob away from his opponent. So it's incredibly hard to punish once the move like initiates. But if you're mashing like Mr. E does, then you can't even get the move out. Going off super deep, good avoidance from Dill that would have killed him. Down tilt, too high a percent to get the follow-up, but this is gonna be death. Good night. And tossing the gyro upwards. He puts it in the spot for Dill to get back onto the stage. Oh, and it disappeared. Bad timing for a mystery. Wants to go for the edge guard. Forward air. Running out of fuel. Let Lost his double jump as well. He cannot air dodge at this point, and he actually ran out of fuel and died. Not enough fuel in the tank, man. Lost all the gas, needs some more coal. I respect that. Mystery going for up air, fast falling into the ground, so it's one of his like least lag amount of moves. One of the safest moves, quickest moves out of action. And then went for a dolphin slash immediately afterwards, just in case he wanted to go for a roll or try to like, push any button whatsoever. Okay, a lot of fade back forwarders coming out from Mr. E. Okay, gotta be careful about that fuel usage. Jump back on neutral air, just a long lasting move. Really good at punishing uh, people that use neutral get up on the ledge. Down tilt to push Mr. E away. What a conversion off of the Nair 1. Up tilt from that far away. Trying to apply pressure. You know Mystery's looking for this kill with that back air. Going to get a lot of damage off of that. Up tilt. Try to get the up air afterwards. But Mystery connects the up air at the end himself. Takes away the set. Moves on to winner semis with a 2-0 victory over Dill. I feel like there's definitely a flub right there because Dill had all the advantage at that, sp at that point. He had the down throw. He went for the up tilt. He had the... What should have happened prior, afterwards, was just the up air. 
whiffed it, and Mystery ended up getting onto the ground and just landed his own upper. So Mystery's gonna move on into winners semis. I believe we're gonna have one more winners quarters match, two more. No, that was I think that was all of us. So that was the last one. John versus Jewel. 